what's up good morning how are you guys i just brought out my canon camera it's been a minute since i've used it and you know what it's so crazy like just the difference that the wide angle has like look at you can literally see everything behind me it's pretty nuts i feel like i should probably use this every now and then just to kind of switch up the like the content you know because this one is really far away so you can see everything versus the other ones more like this where it's close which i like but i also want you guys to be able to see everything going on behind me but anyways good morning how are you guys i am about to go to Target, and then i might get some starbs while i'm there do we like do we use starbs do we use starbucks do we use bucky's do we use, I don't know, I feel like everybody has a different name for Starbucks, but I might treat myself today to Starbucks because I haven't had coffee yet, and you know what? It's been a minute since I bought myself some coffee, so I might just do that, but I want to get a mascara, I need to get a coffee creamer, and then I just kind of want to look around their clothes section. Sometimes they have little cute sweaters and tops, but if you guys like, this camera let me know in the comments because i want to switch on and off but if you guys like this let me know but i do like the white angle so i don't know but anyways let's go to starbucks right, so i ended up going to starbucks right before i came into target i should have just got it while i went to target but it's okay i got an iced coffee no classic heavy cream sugar-free vanilla it's typically what i get same thing with cold brew i wanted to get a venti though and a venti cold brew is just too much like it gives me the shakes so i ended up just getting iced coffee which is still pretty good but i'm kind of mad that they do you see this it has coffee grounds should i complain i don't like to complain in the store usually i'll complain if i need to complain i'll complain on the chat and just be like hey you know sometimes i take pictures because i don't like to be a karen but nobody likes to sip coffee grounds because that's all i've been getting but anyways i just got to uh Target, so we'll see what we get ourselves into you've told me more than once to show you my intention my brain gets blocked at times but now Somehow I'll give you my attention You've got to know that I I ain't a person who understands All the clockwork of our romance You make me feel so alive Okay, so we left Target and I only got one bag I am actually impressed with myself right now But you guys want to know what I found so remember on one of my videos where I was looking everywhere for black and chicken strips? I love how when you're not looking for something, you find it. Yeah, I had to go to so many grocery stores last time and I couldn't find it. But Target finally restocked on the black and chicken strips. I'm telling you, these and the air fryer, you can do a wrap, you can do a salad, literally anything but the flavoring on this is so so good so i am so freaking happy that i found it and i needed a coffee creamer they didn't really have very many options so i just went with the caramel macchiato starbucks zero sugar it's all right it's not like my favorite thing ever but it'll do and then i needed concealer so i'm gonna try the l'oreal infallible concealer because i literally don't have any right now so i guess we'll see how that turns out l'oreal usually pretty good i don't know but i didn't want to use my tarte for every day because that's expensive and i'm only trying to use it like when i go out so that's going to be more of my everyday concealer 
and then i'm trying a new mascara so right now i'm using the maybelline i think it's the sky high or something like that and it's really good but i feel like it dries out really fast so it's been a minute since i've used any type of l'oreal uh, mascara too so i guess we're gonna try it but this is the black voluminous uh l'oreal mascara so we'll see i think this was like 10 bucks so i hope it's good and i think that's it i'm proud of myself that's that's all i got okay i am just leaving kohl's right now my mom's birthday is tomorrow and she's been wanting some new nike running shoes so i found her some black white with pink stripes they're pretty cute but anyways i haven't ate anything besides that coffee and i'm starting to get pretty hungry so I thought about going home and making something, but I have a free Chick-fil-A salad, so I might just pick that up and then go home and eat it, so. Okay, so I just got home. I already showed you guys everything that I got from Target. I need to put these in the fridge because, you know, these need to be refrigerated. So I mentioned to you guys it was my mom's birthday. Well, it's gonna be my mom's birthday. We're gonna go to dinner tomorrow, but my mom, she, I'm not gonna say she's basic because, you know, but she doesn't really care for like material things. But if there's one thing she really likes is Nike shoes, like the athletic kind. Sorry, this is in my face. But she doesn't have the black, white, and pink. And I know she's gonna freaking love these. I already know. But yeah, I hope, I hope she does. I got her a gift receipt just in case she doesn't but should be a good time tomorrow for dinner and then i was gonna eat at home i promised i was gonna eat at home but i'm like you know what i have a free chick-fil-a salad so i'm not like there's no reason for me to get home and make lunch right now and i haven't even ate anything this is technically breakfast lunch because i was out trying to find my mom some shoes but anyways I got my favorite Chick-fil-A salad. It's the Cobb salad. It sucks that the free one doesn't let you do the spicy chicken. It's cold, but it's spicy. I'm telling you right now, by far the best combination for Chick-fil-A salads. But can we just, ugh, their Cobb, can I not drop it? The Cobb salad is the best and it comes with the red bell pepper crispy things. My mouth is watering. The avocado lime ranch is so freaking good. This is like my favorite um, Chick-fil-A salad, so. I don't know what it is about that avocado lime ranch. It makes me wanna make my own. Maybe I should try to make some homemade avocado lime ranch. I love Chick-fil-A. I know people like to hate on Chick-fil-A, like it's overrated, but I love Chick-fil-A. I really, really do. Um, fast food wise, I would say I like Chick-fil-A and In-N-Out the best, obviously, but from California, if you don't like In-N-Out you're from California, I'm sad. Not as good as the spicy chicken one. I just got the one with the grilled nuggets don't get me wrong, their ground nuggets are fire. But there's something about the spicy chicken. I have to edit yesterday's video. Yesterday was when I made that chicken pesto or stuffed chicken pesto. You guys will see the recipe, but I'm proud of myself for filming a few recipes. Not just recipes, but a few vlogs this week. So hopefully you guys like that. That pesto chicken was so freaking good and it was very easy and minimal ingredients and it's just, it's amazing. I would serve it with pasta or rice if you want, you know, um, to add an extra side, probably pasta. It's delicious with pasta. But yeah, I'm excited. I need to edit that, I need to upload it. And what else do I need to do today? I don't think I have much to do besides edit the videos today. And then tomorrow I'm spending my mom, or I'm spending the day with my mom tomorrow for her birthday. So that's that, but yeah. I'm actually excited that I'm on a roll with filming videos. I really hope you guys are enjoying it. I really hope this channel grows. I feel like I should get on TikTok so I can 
post like clips of my videos or I don't know. I need to get on TikTok. I created an account. I just haven't posted anything. I don't know. Maybe I don't know how to use it. I, I don't know. Mm. Make me feel so alive. Always there in my mind. But I just don't know. I just don't know if I'll dance with the lights on. If you're gonna be moving. I need to start on. editing the video, but you know what I realized? I realized that I used to do like typing exercises where like I was actually able to determine my words per minute and now I'm doing this and it's really really annoying me so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to practice my typing soon but I've been reading a little bit of my how to overcome anxiety that book I got from Barnes and Noble a little while ago and I want to share this with you guys let me actually find where it was at so the first one that I want to share is you don't have to control your thoughts. You just have to stop letting them control you. How, oh my God, like just listening to that, that is so powerful. A lot of us want to take control of our thoughts and it's not something that we can do, but we just have to stop letting them control us. And I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more with that. And the second one was about avoiding comparisons and it specifically talks about how you may look at your friends or peers and think you have they have it all figured out and they look happy and they might be fulfilled with their job with their life with their partner with their family and a picture does not give you their day-to-day -day reality right a picture is just one photo and there's no context behind it really it's just a photo and i think comparison is just the thief of joy and it's really unfair for all of us to see a photo and start comparing our lives or our family or our job anything like that that just creates a negative circle and puts you in a negative loop i don't know if um most of you guys know but i had stopped using instagram like to a little bit over two years ago and it was for that same reason I just didn't think it was healthy personally for me I didn't think it was doing anything good for me and why would I put myself through that if I know that it wasn't it wasn't benefiting me in any way right social media is a great tool for you to get in communication and contact it's just it's not fair for people to have a tendency to compare their lives to other people and that causes a lot of anxiety so i really wanted to share that with you guys really really good message but <sighs> all right off to do some work if you've seen a few of my videos you know that i love wine and since i was eating like keto low carb i was very limited there was a time where i didn't have any alcohol for a few months and then I started incorporating alcohol because I love me a glass of wine. Like I don't drink to get like drunk off my ass and like not know how to function. I drink because I love the taste of wine. So I like tasting different wines and being on keto, I was strictly kind of staying to like zero sugar wines and wasn't really able to buy, you know, the wines that I wanted to try. But recently I discovered this wine from Trader Joe's. It's a cab. It's called Corvelia or Curvelia. I don't know, but it has like a girl in a hair ponytail or something in the front. The bottle literally feels so freaking like fancy, sophisticated. I love the label. I'm a huge freaking like packaging for me is everything. And they really, really did it with the packaging, but it's a Paso Robles um, wine. And it's only 10 bucks. If you're a wino like me and you love wine, you know wine, good tasting wine can get very expensive. And there's very few that are 10 bucks or less that are actually very good. And this is one of them. So you know what? It's okay. I decided 
balance is key and no pasa nada it's fine it's a bottle of wine it's okay i think balancing everything is fine i had a salad for lunch so i think we're good It is so smooth and velvety, like it tastes expensive. It's very dry, so if you're a cab drinker, you know that it's dry. Um, but it has a tad, tad bit of some sweetness. If you drink cabs, you know they're super dry, so this has like a tad bit of like some fruitiness. But man, it is so, so smooth, and it's like a, it's like a I don't know, like a super drinkable wine. I don't know how to ex how to describe it, but so, so good. And it's like a dark, deep red. Oh my God. Good morning. I am being productive again. I'm actually uploading a video right now, which I'm really excited about. And I just made the thumbnail. I just used Canva to do that. And then I use Epidemic Sound to add music. You guys spy a little guy over here. Look at him. He is so precious. So Kevin knows I love Post Malone. And look at how adorable this little Funko Pop is. He's so, so cute. I'm gonna leave him here so I can see him every morning, but this is the one that I got and it's the night one. How cool. I love his little uh, little night outfit, it's awesome. But yeah, I'm gonna make some coffee, finish uploading that video, and let me actually let Bella out right now because she's being a little brat. I hear you, mama, I hear you. All right, I'm just gonna use the Starbucks iced coffee, just the regular unsweetened, and then I'm gonna use the caramel macchiato creamer. I already did have some earlier, which I know I shouldn't have, but I did. And I just feel like this one's just not as strong, so I'm able to kind of have two cups. I just wanted to show you guys the carnitas I bought at Aldi, the pack I showed in my last video for my haul. I just put them in the crock pot for an hour and 45 minutes. Oh my God. Do we see how good that looks? I added water and some spices a little bit just so I, I just didn't want it to be dry, but oh my God, it literally, smells so good in my house i'm just gonna make some rice and probably some tacos but like i cannot believe it they're actually they taste really good i just tried them so definitely buying them again about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited